we've sized in the port corner wall. That's already ready to go. We're, we're soon to glass it in. So right now we're just doing the final touches to make sure it fits as we need. A little bit of shaving here and there, and we should be good to go. And then uh, after the corner walls, it's on to the side walls that, that joins the deck as well, the, uh, the walkway on each side. The steps it takes to get things right it can take a long time to make one piece fit, but when you do it right, it lasts. Hey guys, well this is a huge week for us, week seven. We're coming to a close. We're on Saturday morning right now. We only work a few hours on Saturday till noon. Anyway, we're killing it. Uh, this week, Big things have happened. The roof went on, as you might already know, and uh, it's up. And we made our shape ribs to curve our roof. It's been bonded, and we have more work to do back here because we have to make our base for our walkway. That's coming along. Right now, Aldo is sanding a partition that we'll be putting right there to start to build out our pilot station our outside our outside station and uh yeah the curves just keep coming we're we've curved this guy here so we're going to put in the two corner walls today and uh yeah we have a we have a big roof it is uh around 20 feet square pretty much now we've got to slowly shape it into into place as we need and it's starting to Take some curve here, curve there just as intended. I needed a flat front and there was a reason for aesthetics. So I'm hoping that turns out as planned. I'm sure it will. Anyway, we have a bunch of extra honeycomb boards we're going to be mounting in the next day or so. And uh, yeah, it's, it's coming together. Big week. Anyway, that last panel we have here, the gray one right down there, that was that was being used to hold our roof as a flat table. Well, its job is over. Now it's time to get eaten up into uh, decks, two of the side deck pieces that we'll be making. We'll be making one large um, side section for the windows. So a 19 foot panel is gone in a blink. Anyway, uh, we're gonna be building a lot of stuff. So this week, coming up on week eight, we'll be Killer. We'll be able to get the sides in, the walkways in, pretty much the side walls, the walkway, the wall for the windows, and we'll be mounting the back portions to hold the roof up and also support the walkway on both sides. So this will be a super week, and right now today we'll close out with a few more jobs being done. I'll let you know. Hey, if you haven't liked or subscribed, please do. That'd be great. Many more videos to come. We have a big job here. It's still coming along, and trust me, it's going to look great. 
Hey guys, well it's week eight and we have Aldo and our new member, Martin. Martin, Aldo. Hey. So Martin no. is, Martin's as good as you, that's what you say, right? Yes, he's a very, very good for work, this guy. Very good fiberglass. Everything. Yeah. It's everything. And tomorrow we have a new guy starting as yeah, well. Yeah, it's uh, Emilio, the name. Emilio. So now I will have four guys, including myself. Martin, Aldo, Emilio, and myself, we're going to kill it. So today, Martin is going to work on our mask, going to take a bunch of the rigging off of it, all the wires and stuff. We're going to start to strip it and paint, and I'm stoked. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you. Okay. Our pilot house is coming together, or I should say my cabin. The cabin's coming together quite well. Uh, it's kind of hard to see the end result here still, I know. But trust me, it's going to look amazing. We're, we're going to have windows on the side. We're going to have a walkway on the side. And it's all tying in. And I would say my goal uh, to have everything done in two months is still intact. We're on week eight, so two more months. So four month job total was my goal. And right now, as you can see, I'm down to no more boards. All the boards I've had have been have been pretty much utilized right now. So that's a walkway piece that we're gonna do today. This is another upright that we can put to support the roof and the walkway. Here is one sidewall of a walkway that we cut yesterday to prove it works and it does. It's got a nice curve to it. We'll have a little shape, so we'll sand that down, mount that today, hopefully. Anyway, so we're coming along quite well. The old pilot house has been pulled down. Boy, this guy is heavy, so heavy. You have no idea trying to pick up only one side. We, we uh, craned it off the day we did the mast and put the, put the roof up, as you remember, if you saw an earlier episode. And uh, man, I'm glad I did that because I would have had to take it in small pieces. At least this way, maybe I can find someone interested to take it and use it for their project. Anyway, so we have boards and pieces everywhere, but pretty much every board and piece has now been taken and our big boards are now all been cut up. So we're coming down to the wire with all of our material. Um, I still have a fair bit of the boards, the four by eight honeycomb sheets that are fiberglassed and, and gel coated and painted and ready to go. I still have those. So I think I'll be able to get through this. I can't get any more product down here. It's not a, not a Mexican product, so it will be difficult to find any other pieces. So if it takes us gluing some together with epoxy, glassing them to make a whole piece. That is what we're going to be doing. I kind of wish I had two more in on my trailer coming down here, but unfortunately I grabbed eight. I should have grabbed 10. Technically I saw in my drawing six. I thought eight would be more than enough, but unfortunately it is what it is. Cosmetically, everything ties in real soon. So hang tight. If you like and subscribe, I'd highly appreciate it. And you will see more episodes and this will come together nicely. I assure you. Hey, so as you can see, we're making an amazing progress on the mast and other parts of the boat. So right now, Martina has been working on this pretty much all morning and he's already got off all the spreaders, all the wires, and now we're doing the, the climbing steps. We have to take out all the pop rivets to get the mast completely straightened out. We're gonna have to sandblast it and take off a bunch of stuff and have it properly painted. So that's another real advantage of being in Mexico, everything's pretty cheap. So I'm gonna do it all. All right guys, so I'm up on deck of the boat and I wanna explain a couple things we're doing at the moment. I'm trying to dial in one side first and we have our we have our deck, so our deck to go forward, we had to bend it so we can make it flush on the deck up ahead. So right now, this is our deck piece that we've already cut, we've tested, it works well. And what you'll notice here is that at one point, I was trying to bring the deck down to a certain height down to the deck. So we made slits right underneath here. And as you can see now, it bends really, really nicely. It goes back and forth. So we're gonna have this part here touch down on the deck and then we'll make it flush with some adding epoxy and glass and a little bit of other material. Anyway, so our deck is all set to go and now we just need the side window 
And we built the side support the other day. So that side support wall is 14 feet long. It goes all the way here. And right about here, this will be the wall and the entrance of the cabin. It starts here and it, there will be a sliding door right here. So it goes back. This wall will be all modified. We're going to cut to 18 inches right there. And then we're going to make another bench and a lounge area inside here. Once we remove the last part of the pilot house, that leaves. Currently, we're only using this for wind block. There's a lot of wind in, in Wymus. And we're going to remove all this floor stuff. So we've got 30 more inches of usable space just behind the glass. So you guys might have noticed, we have a, we have a refrigerator here. A full-size, brand new, um, it's an LG. It's an LG fridge. It's the smart inverter system. It uses 35% less energy than a normal standard household fridge. So I really love a proper fridge. So basically we have a nice uh, multi-airflow fridge. We've got all this stuff in here. It's really, really nice, super efficient. Today we're going to put in the other corner window. Then we're going to build our wall for the other windows and our deck and our outside edge. Then eventually all of this gets taken out. The whole roof here gets taken out. And what I have down here, which is a total disaster at the moment, I'm packing it up, uh, will be removed. So bottom line is all of this opens up. Then we have beam to beam complete room. So there is a hall here that will be low like this. So everything is being torn out of here and we're gonna have to do more evacuation of all this gear. And in a very, very short time, we're gonna be redesigning our battery bank. We're gonna be redesigning our water tanks, which are underneath here. Everything's being gutted. I plan to get all the walls really, really nice, get the batteries organized on their sides. So I've got all five batteries. I've got a thousand amp hour battery bank. I've got one down below and four here. So I've got five total 200 amp hour, 12 volt batteries. They all have their LCD readout. So they're pretty cool and they work great. I've had them for over a year and I'm very, very stoked. The floor will then become everything utilitarian underneath, storage, water maker. I've got all that stuff in storage at the moment. I can't wait to hook my, my 16 gallon per hour Spectra water maker. It's 12 volt DC. It pumps out really, really good. I just had the whole thing rebuilt. A really good buddy. Shout out to Rafi. Thank you very much for the water maker. That's an amazing gift. Almost brings tears to my eyes. Such a nice gift. I really appreciate that, man. Once the floor is all even, I'll have beam to beam access and everything here is viewed. There's going to be a giant galley over here that we have bar stools and a bunch of seating for about maybe eight, 10 people inside. It'll be a really, really nice party layout. That's one thing the boat did not have. If you had two guests over, man, you were struggling to find anywhere for them to sit. This was not designed for anything more than a couple, really. Even though there's a bunch of beds, you had to have perfect weather to be outside. And if you weren't having perfect weather, it was windy, cold or whatever, and you had a few guests over, I don't know where they would end up because there really isn't much room in the pilot house. And there certainly isn't much room headroom wise in the bed area. So other than that, we had horrible guest accommodations for entertaining. It was just the worst. So this, this inspiration came from a lot of that. And also I like to redesign stuff. So I just got into this um, <clears throat> one time where I, where I smoked some fire OG. If you guys know about strains of marijuana, uh, fire OG triggered something, my engineering part of my brain. And I came up with this concept directly after I, I smoked some sounds a little private. I shouldn't probably say all this, but thanks to fire OG, I'm down this road, or I should say, no thanks to fire OG. It's got me down to a hell of a lot of work, but a few runs here and there, taking the boat 2,000 miles, driving all the way to Spokane, Washington from Los Angeles to get the composite boards I picked up and carbon core, I placed 14 boards on their order. Three, two, one.
I'm here at Sean's boat and I just rescued two dogs and he's not too mad, but uh, here we are, let's see. Hello, honey, I'm home. Hey, hey, come on up. All right, I'm coming. You can see it's working project here. Working for us. You rescued two dogs. I did, honey. I, I gotta am, take them to a vet immediately. I but... decide myself on the idea oh. of going to put your dogs. Oh, don't worry, I'm gonna take Lucky with me. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna take Lucky with me and I'm going, going to take Coconut and you're gonna take the new two guys. Okay, well, I'd like to show you what I've been doing up here. Okay. Right here is a new cut. Yeah. I just made this. So well, no, and then what's gonna be here? This That's is gonna be. The door is gonna be, door gonna gonna be which way? It slides or it pulls out of the way. Okay. So this is gonna be our walkway. When it's open. This is going to be mainly open if we're walking back and forth. Mm -hmm. Just like this, it'll be a big fat cushion. This becomes an L shaped thing. And then where's your entryway then? This is the entryway. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is all going to be all in there. This is the door. Okay. All right, well, let me go get a bed around here. You're going to go take the dogs to the vet now, right? Yes. I was thinking San Carlos, but... Anyway, maybe so, because you don't know where the other vet is, right? Okay, well, good luck with that. <laughs> but you have to come with me, you don't have a car. Oh, I do. I gotta go in the back seat with the dogs. You're freaking... She picks up... Oh she picks God. up two mangy, tick-ridden... Can you come look at them? Can you see them for the first disease. time? I want to have this on camera. Oh, you seeing them? Are you serious? I'm gonna see the dogs for the first time. That I have on camera how I got divorced before I got married. <laughs> yeah. Sure. I need this on camera. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you Give need it that. Give to me camera. so I can. I can show everywhere. <laughs> Hold on. Haha. Let's see. There he goes. Oh goodness. I'm happy he's not too much. Do you have any fleas yet? Um, do you guys have any sort of basket or something we can carry them in? Because there's. Hold on. <laughs> this is Alder everywhere and say hi. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do I do? So, I do not know what she said. Just fight somebody in the very back. Can you hear? Do you like this little one? Let's see. And what's her name, Whitey? Oh, puppy. Oh, my God. Are you serious? Oh, no, it's so cute. Oh, Honey, baby. but the chest is full of I little see that. It's, it's, it's got to oh, explore. Yes, thousands of it. Baby. Hi, little girl. Oh, I almost drove over her, Hello, honey. Baby. Hi. Okay, okay, so you guys stay. No, no, no. Hi, guys, this one is a runner. Oh, she's going to bite you. Bro. This one's a runner. This one, I, 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 oh, she's biting me. She is biting me. She is biting me. Oh, fuck, Marissa. What are you Stop, doing? Stop, close the door. Close the door. What are you doing? Shake, 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 shake,